Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is a video talking about my E90 and uh, basically the reason, and not just E90, BMWs in general, why I'm always with BMW and why I always stick with BMW. Um, it's just because when I was a really, when I, as I was growing up, BMW was the car for me. It's like, oh, from my, since I was a really, really, really young boy, and I will show you guys proof since I was a really young boy that that the BMW meant like the world to me when I was younger. I don't know why BMW was like the only car that you know I saw was a big deal at the time, but still till today I love BMW and nothing's gonna change that. What I loved mostly about this car as I was growing up and watching YouTube videos and just like buying Hot Wheels and stuff is that the car can can be like either how do you say it um, a sleeper or whatever. You know, I mean, it's not really a sleep, it's luxury and it's sportiness combined. Like, you can't really find that in a car nowadays that it's both luxury and combined, luxury and sport that's not BMW. I mean, if you find Mercedes, it's full out luxury. If you find Audi, the, I mean, Audi honestly is probably the second best bet when it comes to sportiness and luxuriness, but I would still consider them more of a luxury brand besides in the new S models and A models. Um, but I mean, other than Audi and BMW, I feel like these are the only two cars that, you know, really, 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 really reached out to me um, personally. Since I was young, me and my brother used to always play with Hot Wheels. It's like how we first got into cars. You know, it's like how people get into engineering and stuff, you play with Legos. Well, me and my brother used to play with cars. I never really got into cars, so, like, that, that, like, how do I say it? Cars wasn't my, my life, my passion, all that stuff, till maybe the end of uh, high school, to be honest. Or maybe like uh, beginning of senior year, I started really getting into cars. I mean, I loved cars from since I was a kid, but I never really got into it as much. Like, what I mean by into it, I mean like more of like drifting, going to, like, you know, more car enthusiast life. Like, I liked cars, I liked driving cars, but I wasn't like a car enthusiast at the time until I turned, I think it was like 16 and I was getting my license and I was looking into some really nice cars and I was, you know, looking at YouTube videos and seeing all the things you can do with these cars, you know. And uh, these are the only cars I kept since I was a kid. Um, these are like some of my first cars. I had a BMW X5. I don't know if you guys can focus or whatever. I had a BMW X5. Um, one of my favorite toy cars to play with. It's really beat. It has sand in there. I don't know how it's in there, but I mean, that's one of my main cars I used to play with. And then, uh... This is my brother's. I remember trading him my Mercedes. I had a Mercedes car, and he was more into Mercedes at the time. Um, Mercedes, whatever. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I just wanted this BMW because I was like, wow, it's really nice. It's a coupe. You know, this I think this is, I'm not even particularly sure if this is the 8 Series and whatnot. The Z8. Yeah, it's a Z8. I've never seen one of these in person, to be honest. Um... Yeah, but I really loved how these, how the way these cars looked, and I always had fun playing with them. And even as I was getting older, when I turned 16, went to my first car meet with Sharif, a friend of mine. Um, he had, he was also he had a BMW coupe that really, like, I loved the car. It just like had everything I ever wanted in a car. Uh, once I went to this car meet, uh, car meet. Uh, if you guys live in El Grove or Sacramento, you guys know Hard Park. He's a, he's a guy that hosts car meets and he sells Hot Wheels. So my first first ever car meet, um, I picked up this red m4 uh i just wanted to buy it as a remembrance of my first ever car meet that i went to i wish I put the date on it it's hella dusty uh but yeah it's a, it's, it's basically an m4 red one of my dream cars i want to get in the future i i mean at first i wasn't really with the f30s but you know it grew on to me it's just bmw how it is it just it always grows on to me um and then when i got the exhaust on this car like another big thing that you know happened to this car um, over, you know, the wrapping and everything. I just felt like it was such a really big deal. Um, as I was waiting for them to do the exhaust, I went down to Walmart. And, uh, I think this is also an M4, but it looks slightly different. No, I think it's the exact same car, but it's blue. I got an M4, but it's blue. And this is literally, this is typically, like, the, M the M4 I want to get in the future. Um, it is just so beautiful. I mean, even in a Hot Wheel form, it's just gorgeous. And uh, if you guys still don't believe that I loved BMW since I was a kid, I'm just saying that because I want a BMW channel. I'm going to go back to this uh, photo album that I had when I was younger. And I had one of these, like, you know, one of those cheap uh, cameras that you used to take pictures, uh, you know, and you have to, like, take like you take it down to Walgreens and they, you know, give them the film and they give you the, the whatever. I usually take those cameras on field trips and my parents allow me to. Um, so that's a better picture when I was younger and stuff. 
so you guys can see this is legit. This is not one. This is not recent. So this is the same album. Uh, I'm gonna go down. For some random reason, I took this picture of this 911. Actually, I'm not sure if this is a 911. I'm, I'm still kind of back and forth po with Porsches, but I mean, if this is a 911, yay for me. But I don't, I don't really don't know. All right, guys, and this is the car. So I don't honestly know when I printed this out. September, October 2008. 2008. I printed out this car because I told my dad I wanted to buy it. <laughs> Since I was a kid, I told my dad I wanted to buy it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. If... Alright, as you guys can see, this is the BMW 3 Series. Um, I printed it out when, what's it called, Kelly Blue Book said. The, the, I mean, it was the value at the time. It was, a two, it was at 2008. This is over like maybe, what is it, 2017? This is like nine years ago. And I printed out this car, tell my dad that I want to buy it. It was a 2006. I remember, this is only two years old at the time. Um, it's 325. I did get a 330. And uh, this had 41,000 miles for $24,000. Um, and coming to think, looking back at it, it's actually not that bad for the price, $24,000. But then again, at that time, I bet you, you know, minimum wage is a whole lot lower. And, you know, currency wasn't ex the exact same. And this was, all, this was also on sale. I think that's why I looked at it. It was a lot cheaper. Imagine that I am in my, my car that I wanted since I was a kid. So yeah, basically this video is, I'm just wanting to put it out there. There's a lot of people in the comments saying that, you know, why are you complaining about your cars? I'm not complaining. I'm just informing you guys what problems I'm having with my cars and how I'm going to go about fixing them. There are a lot of people saying, why don't you just go with a Corolla? Why don't you just go with a Toyota? You won't have these problems. You won't have these problems. Why don't you go with the Civic? You know, this is just not me, you know? And as, from all you guys that are watching this video, you know that, you know, you don't want to get rid of your... You want to, you wouldn't go back to a... Uh, like, you wouldn't go to a Japanese car. I mean, not a Japanese car in general. I mean, like, a Civic or um, a Corolla after you owned a BMW because the driving difference is, like, day and night. You can't really compare these kind of cars. And you can't really go back. Like, when I, when I... Both of my cars are broken down. I was driving the truck or I was driving the Prius. It was honestly, like, why was I going to work? It was kind of like that. It was like, I don't... I'm what, what am I working for? I don't really... I had no no drive. I was not motivated whatsoever. These cars push me every single day. And I'll have a video on that. More of like, um... More of like this BMW, how it changed my life. But for now, I'm basically just talking about why I went with BMW and I love this car since you know since I was a baby so to answer guys' questions for some of you guys are saying why don't you just go with a cheaper car more cheaper maintenance cheaper everything you know for me as a car person as a car enthusiast it's not gonna work it's not gonna happen if for me to be driven in life I need to I need to have what I want and work harder for what I want what I want have more you know um, and for example I have these hot wheels of these M4s um, that I plan hopefully owning one day, you know. I mean, it's, it looks like Hot Wheels now, but I mean, look look at the pictures I had and the cars I had, and what do I have now oh, after what was that nine years? I mean, it is a. I'm hoping it's not going to be another nine years to own a Z. I mean, an M4, but we'll see where life takes us in the next couple of years. So if you guys did enjoy this video and uh, kind of feel the exact same with me and how you feel about your BMW, smash that like button. Let me know. I don't. I I feel like I'm not the only one that you know loved BMW since they were a kid. If you are exactly like me when you were a kid, please let me know in the comments. It'd be kind of cool to meet you. And, uh, you know, if you just got into BMWs as you got older, um, let me know why you went to BMW over some other cars. I'm actually, I'm, I'm curious because for me, I loved it since I was a kid and, you know, that was just in my mind. Even my, my secondary car, I couldn't really go with anything else but a BMW. But, um, as long as I'm going to keep this E90, for those of you guys wondering what's going to happen with E36, I'm probably going to sell it because it's low miles, it's already done, and um, probably get a 350Z or something like that. Um, because, yeah, BMWs aren't the most, you know, reliable. I mean, they, they are reliable, but when they are cost of maintenance, uh, I want to have, an, uh, like, and I need to fix this car. I don't want to keep driving it and making things worse. I want to have a, another reliable car to drive. Hey, guys, so I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby I need you to see me Quit with the front and then put your guard down Girl, we know you ain't easy, you know